everyone, how are you doing today? This is Steven with Divine Mobile Home Central. In today's 360 walkthrough tour video, we are going to be touring this beautiful triple wide called the Casita. Casita model number 5G42744A, which is by Palm Harbor Homes, and it is 2,810 square feet. This is a huge home, you guys. So, at the end of the video, I will be including the price and as well as the price down in the description box if you would like to see it much sooner. And please feel free to fast forward the video or rewind the video to your liking if you want to get to certain parts much quicker. But as for the rest of you, please follow along with me as we do this virtual walkthrough tour. So sit back, relax, and grab some popcorn and some soda. All right, so here's your living room. You have a really beautiful living room here. You have plenty of space in this living room. Let's get a closer look at this space. Look at all this seating in here. Um, there's plenty of space for, um, you can have uh, guests over, you got family over, um, plenty of space for uh, to conversate you know about different topics or different gossips or you know whatever you want to do so very nice space to have your um, morning cup of coffee in the morning or if you want to have some tea or some snacks there you go this is a perfect uh, place to have a um, conversations so very nice living room indeed lots of seating I really love those big windows as well it brings a lot of natural light all right, I want to get you all a view from another angle. Again, you have plenty of space in this living room. Uh, you would have your dining room over there, but we'll take a closer look at that in a look, just a little bit. So another look at your living room here. And oh yeah, if you want to follow me on social media platforms, this channel, um, I am at Facebook, Divine Mobile Home Central, as well as Instagram, Divine underscore Home Central. So um, I usually uh, post pictures and, um, you know, short clips in there, you know, like afterwards. So. so definitely follow me on those platforms if you're interested. So let's look at the rest of the house here. So you would have your hallway right here. So this would be the hallway that will lead to the, the guest bathroom and the two guest bedrooms. Right there you would have your um, furnace for your heating and air conditioning. So your heating and air conditioning are right through there. Get y'all a look at the ceiling. Let's check out the bathroom space. So this is your hallway guest bathroom. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this already. This is a four bedroom, three bathroom, multi-section triple wide by Palm Harbor Homes. Let's get y'all a closer look at the bathroom right here. You have your full fiberglass tub and shower combo. You have your commode. Plenty of space in this garden tub shower combo. And as well, you would also would have your transom window above the tub area, which is very nice for bringing in natural light in the daytime. So another look at your bathroom here. All right, so let's check out the guest bedroom right here. This is the first guest bedroom. So this will be bedroom number two. And I really like how they staged their homes right here. It really gives you an idea and perspective of how to um, set up your home or furnish your home. Let's take a look at the closet space right here. Very nice, adequate size closet space. Let's get you all a view from another angle. 
now this one would have the um it will have the air vents in the floors so this particular home by imagine you can get the air vents put in the ceilings if you wanted to another look at your bedroom here all right you guys so let's go check out the other bedroom across the way so this will be our other guest bedroom bedroom number three this is definitely larger of the two bedrooms on this side of the house and as you can see they would have a queen size bed in there you would probably get away with a king size if you really needed to I love the neutral colors that they would have in the bedrooms as well. Of course, right here would be your closet. Nice adequate size closet space. Get y'all a view from another angle. I really love these big windows that they have too throughout the home so far. And I do like the fact that they have the carpet in the bedrooms as well. Now, if it was me personally, I will only have carpet in the bedrooms. But this particular model home will have the carpet throughout the majority of the home. But if you're a person, if you're a person that really likes carpet, it's, it's really up to you. Let me know down in the comment section what you would do. Would you have carpet or would you have just carpet in the bedrooms and then hardwood floors throughout? All right, so this is your dining room space. You have plenty of space in this dining room. Look at this. This is this is really a unique dining room. I've never seen this before. I love the two-tone colors on the walls. I love the tray ceiling. And this is like a six-seater, but I imagine you could put an eight-seater. And I really love the accent lights on either side of the walls right there. And as well as a beautiful chandelier. It really gives it a lot of drama. I just have to sit here for a moment just to get a really good look at this dining room. This is a really lovely dining room. Very luxurious. You know, if, if you're looking for a luxury in a triple wide, this is this home definitely um, checks all the boxes for that. All right, so this is the area that will lead to the in-law suite. So you have a coat closet right there, and on the on the opposite side, well. Here you go. So this will be your in-law suite. And the in-law suite will have a bedroom, I mean a bathroom of all of its own. So it has its own private bathroom. And this is a really nice size in-law suite as you can see. All right, so here's a view from another angle. You know, again, you can use this as an in-law suite. You can use it as an older child's bedroom. You can use it as a guest bedroom. It's really whatever you want to use it for and what your needs are. This is a really, really large room. This is basically like a, a second master bedroom. And this is not even a master. And this is a huge room, you guys. All right, so this is a hallway. You would have your closet right there off to the side and as well as your bathroom. So this would be the ensuite bathroom for this in-law suite. Love the tall ceilings. Now, as you guys would notice, this house would have the full sheetrock walls throughout. There is no um, board and batten walls here. Full sheetrock. And of course, this will have the full fiberglass tub and shower combo. Of course, you would have your commode and as well as a vert vertical, vertical 
transom window. Excuse me, that was a tongue twister right there. Vertical transom window in as well as your sink. So right there be a peek at your closet. This is a really nice size um, um, ensuite. All right, so let's go check out the rest of the space. So this would be the great room area. Let's take a closer look at it. Huge great room. Now how they how they have the furniture rearranged right here. I mean it's nice, but but where the sofa is and where the lamps are, I'll put my TV cabinet over there because I have a big TV cabinet, so I would definitely put that over there, and I would um, put the uh, sofa along the wall on the opposite side of where we're standing. So that's at least that's that's at least what I would do. But let me know how you would rearrange this um, great room. I would really love to hear it. Let me know down in the comment section. Just want to sit here for a second, let you all get a really good look at this space right here. All right, so now we're going to turn our attention over to the kitchen area. Look at this beautiful kitchen. Huge kitchen, you guys. Love the center island area. Perfect place to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Get y'all a view from another angle. Now, of course, this window, would, this kitchen would not have a natural window in it for like your kitchen sink. Your kitchen sink could be right there in the center island, but all the natural light that's coming from the um, sunroom, which will, which we will take a look at momentarily, it brings in a lot of natural light. So that's your sunroom right there. But all that natural light coming in from there it may, really makes up for it. Again, you have cabinets for days, you guys. Look at all these cabinets. It's crazy. That's a ridiculous amount of cabinets. <laughs> ridiculous amount. All right, so this is your um, this is your pantry. So you have adequate size in your pantry space. All right, here would be your utility room. So you would have your electric box right there. Straight ahead, you would have a sewing area or a craft area, or you might, you may you want to put a computer, I don't know. It really depends on what your needs are. Now, me personally, I would probably put extra cabinetry right there or a space for my uh, a deep chest size freezer. So instead of having that, I'll probably put my chest size freezer right there where that desk is. All right, so right here be a space for your washer and dryer hookup. Plenty of space. Of course, that's your back door. Now we'll leave on to, lead on to the optional um, garage that you would put right there with this home. This home would actually, from my understanding, you'd be able to actually choose an optional garage, like a two-car garage. I know. Just think about it. A two-car garage for a manufactured home. That is crazy absolutely crazy but it's, but it's a good kind of crazy <laughs> um, but yeah that was a place right there where we saw the um, a place where you can sit down and take off your shoes all right so here's another look at the kitchen and next we're gonna be taking a look at the sunroom it's a very nice sunroom look at here now they have a they have a dining room you know set sought up in here but I probably put like a maybe like some wicker furniture or something like that. You know, just join. You know, perfect place to sit down and with a good book and a cup of coffee and enjoy the enjoy the morning sun.
this is a really nice space right here i really love the um dark accent walls as well as the drapes and you know they stage it very well All right, so let's take a look at the back porch or back patio that they would have built into the home right here. So this would be your back patio, guys. Look how big it is. Really huge back patio. Now, I'm not sure if you can, you might be able to get steps put onto, the, onto this back porch if you wanted to. I imagine you could but definitely ask the dealer about it. They can give you more information. Plenty of space for wicker furniture. You could put like a little fire pit or, you know, just using my imagination here, but you can definitely put a lot of furniture up here in your barbecue grill. All right, so if you are new here and if you made it this far in the video, why don't you consider joining our family by subscribing to our channel? I do manufactured modular home tours in person and I also do virtual tours like this is what you're seeing today and as well as general information videos. If any of that interests you, uh, definitely consider joining our family by subscribing to our channel. And of course, if you all like this video or any other videos, definitely give it a big thumbs up. It definitely helps out with the algorithm of this channel. And definitely comment down below. I love to hear your comments. With that being said, let's check out the master bedroom. All right, so this is the entrance to your master. We're stepping inside the master. Now look at this beautiful master bedroom. This is a huge master bedroom, you guys. It even has a chandelier. And look at all of the windows that this master bedroom would have. So of course this is the main part of the master bedroom that we're looking at. Huge king size bed. I imagine you could put a California king there if you choose to do so. And over here to the right you would have a sitting area. Now this area right here they would call the parents retreat. So this area would be called the parent retreat. So. Definitely plenty of space for a sofa, an ottoman, or even a chair, or a couple of comfortable chairs. Have you a nice cup of coffee in the morning, can read a newspaper, you know, not sure who reads newspapers anymore. <laughs> but hey, to each your own. But of course, right here, this will lead back onto your deck and patio. All right, so another good look at your retreat and your master bedroom. Or should I say parent retreat and master bedroom. Perfect place to get away from it all. It's nothing like a space for the adults in the house. Or the responsible ones. All right, so here is your master bedroom bathroom so look at this beautiful master bathroom you have your uh, you had to have two sinks so this would be your first sink you would have a, a double vanity you have a beautiful garden tub right here look at that deep garden tub and you also have a nice big window above the garden tub area and of course they put blinds there um, for privacy so Privacy is not an issue in this uh, master bathroom. Again, I love the mirrors and I love the uh, vanity lighting. So right here would be your other uh, vanity sink. And as well as the master bathroom walk-in shower. Look at this huge shower. The shower also would have a window above it as well. So. No, that's more natural light in the daytime. And of course, it's, uh, the glass is frosted for privacy. Now right there, they would have a standard shower head. 
But you know, you could also um, what I would do personally, I would if I could, I would order this home with a shower head, a rainmaker shower head directly above, and then I would also keep the regular shower head too. So right there, that's exactly where I would put the rainmaker shower head. And of course, look at that beautiful tile as well. And of course, you would also have plenty of, plenty of space for you and your significant other. Or hey, maybe four people. Who knows? <laughs> uh, again, I'm just using my imagination here. So, But the point of it is, it's a really big shower. All right, so here's your master closet. Look at this huge master closet. And one thing I noticed about this house, it has all the wood shelvings in the closets. I know, love, I know a lot of you guys love the wood shelvings. And you got plenty of space for like a bench or an ottoman in the closet right there. So if you need to put your shoes on, very simple to do. Okay, so you would have more wood shelving right here across from where your water heater would be. So your water, be, water heater would be right there in the corner behind the access panel. So the water heater for the whole house will be located in the master closet. And of course this closet has plenty of lighting. Now this particular one doesn't have doors on it, but you can definitely opt for uh, double doors on your master closet if you want to close it off. And of course right there, there is your commode room for your toilet. Overall, this is a very nice home, nice master suite, very nice general manufactured home overall. All right, so let's go back over here into the living room and we're gonna find out and see how much she costs. So let's find out the sales price. All right, you guys, so the online sales price is $289,640. $289,640. Now remember, that is for the home only. It does not include the other features like setup, AC, and skirting, and what have you. You'd have to contact the dealership for more information about that part. But it's for the home only. So now remember, this is just a rough estimated price that they have online. You know, prices are subject to change, so make sure you contact them for more further details. Now. Now, part I don't not the part that I don't like about this home. That's probably one thing, but it's cosmetic. It's the carpeting. This home would probably have too much carpet for me. Again, I only like the carpet in the bedrooms. So, but again, that's just cosmetic. But overall, this is a very nice, beautiful, luxurious home. Very beautiful home overall. So, if you're looking for a lot of space, or if you have a large family and you need a lot of space, this is perfect. This home is absolutely perfect. Well, all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the home tour today. This is Steven with Divine Mobile Home Central, your central source for manufactured modular home tours and more. I will see you all in the next video. Y'all take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.